Hello. Yo, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, so basically you already paid my online training program. So for this reason, you can also get the support. Suppose you face any problem regarding any issue about mm -hmm. your coding or about your algorithm, then you can easily get the support anytime. Okay. So now okay. can you tell me what's the problem you can face for now? Uh, so for now, I created uh, some list of uh, oil spill events in Caspian Sea. Uh, using Sentinel-1, uh, I can extract uh, raw data, uh, satellite images, Sentinel-1. Uh, so for these images, I need to, to calculate some using maybe cluster methods like k-means and other uh, to create masks. I also uh, deployed some deep learning model that can predict. Okay, so now, uh, do, do, do you write all of those code or what is the process about that? Uh, actually, not. Uh, at the moment, uh, I have an issue for creating masks using remote testing Google Earth Engine. Okay. So I need. Uh, in paper, I need to compare uh, deep learning model masks, predicted masks, and uh, ground truth masks using uh, Google Earth Engine. So, uh, comparing these two masks, uh, we can provide some visual information for. Okay, so now your deep learning code is ready or not? Yes, ready. Okay, ready. Okay. Okay, so can I share your screen? Then I will check some all of you from your side. Then you can tell me what we can do further. Okay, one second. So, for example, uh, for example, here, do you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can get that. We, uh, I created a table with possible oil leaks. Like date, sea name, location, yes. latitude, longitude, yeah. and uh, name of raw image in uh, Copernicus. Okay, so is it, is it Sentinel 1? Yeah? Yes, yes, Sentinel 1, uh, synthetic aperture radars images. Okay. So, because uh, uh, using Google Search Engine, it's quite ha hard to extract masks okay so did you open it in uh, google Earth engine platform uh yes okay. one second so did you uh, open all of the images easily from the google Earth engine so that's why you can easily get it from here second And mainly you want to uh, identify the oil spill, yeah, using the Sentinel-1 survey. Yes, yes, uh, I need to identify oil spill and uh, extract masks. Okay, so oil masks you will extract from this satellite Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. So here, for example, uh, I created, but as you can see, layers. Okay. So it. Uh, so here you can uh, make the classification mainly uh, binary class here, two class. Yes, yes. Okay. Using threshold. Using threshold detection. Okay, great. Yes. Okay. And now, uh, now uh, mainly while it's still, it show like as a uh, white color things, yeah? It show the while it's still. Yes, yes, but uh, these cases from table, uh, it's quite hard, to, for example. Okay, for example, so in this time, in this time you, you get the ground truth data. So now if you want, you can also import this ground truth data, mainly as a point. Okay, you can easily import in Google Earth Engine platform. Okay. Mm -hmm. So for that, you can simply click on the asset tab. Asset, mainly asset, asset, asset tab. Yeah. And click on the new, new, new button. And click on the CSV file. 
csv and now go to your csv file and simply import the csv file we are importing the all of those latitude and longitude uh do i need to provide download file or i can provide provide no oh, you, can, you can download it from the google drive okay in your local storage on your computer and from here you can easily uh, put that no problem so all of this information now we can easily uh, import in our google earth engine platform mainly a specific location and it is identify about that ground truth of the well spelling so that's how we can easily use it for train our model if you want you can also use that the uh, random for no problem okay that's all yes. okay you cannot put any space in your file name you cannot put any space okay so you can simply rename it this file ah okay. so you did not put any space no so, spaces yeah yeah not space any space you did not put any space Just one second. Okay, you have to rename it from your uh, local storage in your computer. Okay, so you can simply rename it, and you put mm -hmm. do not put any kind of space on your uh, name. Mm-hmm. Then it will be great. Okay. Okay. Now go to the below. Now go to the below, and here you see uh, more below. More below about that. More below. Here you can see about that latitude and longitude about that. You can find out a option for latitude. You can see x column, y column. You can see the x column, y column. Okay. Okay. You can find out the x column, y column in the advanced pro option. Okay. Go to the below. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. This part. This part. Yeah. We stop. Yeah. Yeah. This. 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 Uh -huh. In this time, you can put here your column name. Okay. Suppose your longitude column name. Just use the same name. Longitude. Just copy this name. Longitude or latitude. Same name, same name and put in the section. Okay, simply copy and then put. So first course latitude is. First ah. the latitude. Why? Why? Put the latitude. Yeah. Put. Put. Yeah. Then copy the same name from your uh, CSV file and then put. And then for that, click on the upload. Uh -huh. Okay. It will be same. Otherwise, it not work. So you have to use the same spelling, same font, or almost all of those things will be same. You have to just use the same column name for your latitude mm -hmm. and longitude. Doesn't appear. Okay, so now click on the tax step. You can see tax step will be running. Click on the tax step. Okay, so I'm showing that. Click on here. Show what is the problem. Click. Project. Click on here. Click. Click on the step. And let's see anything. Okay. So it's showing that it is CSV. Oh. Okay, so in this time, you can just you can just make a CSV file. This CSV file only have the two columns. Suppose latitude and longitude. Okay, other information not need. In this time, okay, so just make a CSV file. This CSV file include only for the latitude and longitude. Okay, let and me other column remove. Okay, then try. I hope then it will be easily uploaded. We can get the point shape file. Point location for your specific oil spelling download data. Just latitude and longitude, right? And it will be okay, no problem. Other information for me. Just make one CSV file. This CSV file contains the information latitude and longitude. Just one second. Okay.
А, так. I did it. Ah, there is some filters. Maybe that's why. Okay, so you just said what is the problem? It shows that uh, browser data space permit us. Okay, so can you? Okay, so uh, in, do you have local Excel file or Excel? Try to make it in your local Excel. I think it will not remove properly all of the all of
left, okay? Is it a ground a ground sample? Yeah. So now click on the refresh button. Get the refresh. Okay. So now for that, you simply click this file. And then click on the import button. Import. Import. So it will be imported and give the name as a. You can put any name. So now uh, just put the coin. Okay. Give the name as a point. P U I N T. Instead of the table, you just write the point. Ah, uh, point. Yeah. Okay. So now you try to add this point. Suppose map dot add layer function. Just write map dot add layer. Yeah. Add layer. And and put the point. Now run the board. This time all of those points, mainly it's your ground sample. You will load it as a layer. Or try to add map dot center object point. Map dot center object point. Then it will be focused the center of view of the all of point. Okay, show this result. Okay, and also open your um also open your uh study area. Please mainly uh, study area mainly your uh, result. Okay, suppose if you uh, detect using the threshold thing, single one star data. Okay, so is it overlay or not? Oh, let me try. We have to use the second location and same graphics to follow. So let's uh, select one case yes. Like here. Twenty twenty two twenty fifth of March. Twenty twenty two. You also need to make the new uh, study area, mainly geometry. So remove the previous geometry and draw the new geometry. Please offer it with your ground sample data. I need to delete, delete yes. Remove the previous, previous geometry, remove that. And then take new geometry and draw the new uh, rectangle. Yeah. Now remove the new yeah. geometry. So now make a new geometry which cover your study area. Yeah, yeah. Around the code and then just what happened. Show the oil. Just, just, I can't even look. You can also make the um, big uh, geometry. Increase your history area, no problem. Or if you want, you can also take the full. Yeah, okay, uh, C, no problem. Okay, at the same time, we can uh, use the same C. Also, no problem. One also, the time period, in time period, at any depth. Thank you, one.
Oh, you think he's so wrong with him? Is it oil in Max or not? Oh, open the layer, yeah, yeah. And you can simply click on the geometry import and uncheck this uh, red color uh, boundary. Okay? Click on the geometry import. I'm sure that this looks like all those pillows in the same place. Yes, yes, yes. Click on, the, click on the geometry import, geometry import, then it will be removed. Geometry import, geometry import in the map. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm Okay, done. Okay, so now we can get this is the white color, it's identify about the wire staring. And your what is your point, mainly your boundary, your uh, sample, ground sample. Yes, this image. Okay. Yes, do you see this? This uh, on the left side. Okay, so now uh, you can make this uh, this time. Uh, if, if you want, you can also use this type of training point to make change the validation as well as you can also make the uh, mainly uh, make the oil spilling marks. So in this time, you can apply only for the thresholding technique. Okay, so we can use the thresholding technique. And after that, if you want, you can also apply the machine learning and then check about your accuracy of your map. In this time, we, you, you can easily get the special indication and you can easily get this uh, while it's failing, but there is no accuracy. Okay? So for getting this accuracy, we have to use that the deep learning or machine learning. Then we can easily get that accuracy. Okay? There's some mistakes. So how how can you use okay. so, so since this time we can send this code link, I will try to add this machine learning model and then try to check what the code we can get from here. Okay, so for the first one you can simply click on your uh, point. Yes. You can click on the point shape file, mainly point your geometry and click on here, the second link. From your asset tab, yeah, from your asset tab. Point, point, yeah, yeah. So click on the share button, yeah, yeah. And then click anyone can read, then can easily access all of the uh, ground sample of oil. So um, anyone can read, right? Ah, oh, no problem, it's okay. So click anyone can read, anyone can read, anyone can read, and then click the done, click to the done, click to the done, and now click on the getting button and send me the link. So now you can send me the link and I can easily access the all of the material after exporting this type of uh, oil spilling marks as well as also exporting this satellite image mainly Sentinel one star data for this location. Then I can do it. So my histogram is quite dif difficult to detect uh, necessary th threshold because it's close to each other. Okay, so now uh, I can share my screen and then try to show you that how can easily apply the machine learning model and detect that uh, this type of uh, while staring map. We can take also accuracy. So let me share my screen. Can you see my screen now? Not yet. 
Yes. Suppose in this chart, uh, you take it this area, and I want to take the whole C. Suppose I take the whole area of C, please cover my all of point when you take example. I take the whole SPNC <coughs> and then further identify about the well spelling. Or I take just only for this part. Only for this part I want to take. Mm -hmm. And then basically it will find out the total of four training sample. So such so, I think we remove that part, if not need. And now I just try to take this is my study area. First of all, let's take my result from here. Again, this is a very long area. So, you can see the many pixel map that allows only for this. So, it maps pixel to or whichever in the chart. Uh, the five hundred. Yeah, different values. Is also not showing. Hey, maybe one by one. Because it's quite large area.
Well, I think we keep the more small region about. This time we can get creating some book from here. Okay, so now this time we are just applying that that um machine learning algorithm and then we make the so for doing these things in this time you already make the image basically uh, you, this is the emails this is the image for serial one emails serial ones are data and now in this time we are just make the training and testing point okay so for doing these things in this time um, you can see this is the emails really, yeah. so this is the final emails after removing the signal from the set, uh, single one side, data, then you can get the set of image. So now from here, I can get this type of map. Then while spelling map, I can get. So now I just take the two things. Suppose I just click on here and uh, take a new layer, and I take the training sample. Suppose I put the training sample. It's a oil. Suppose it's the oil. And put the feature collection. I put the property name suppose class and set the value for zero. And okay. So now I just simply take some training sample from this white color. Okay, this type of oil spinning region. So just I simply take some training sample from here. So oil, so oil. Take it from the threshold technique. So I take suppose uh, hard retain example. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then suppose I take the another training sample, which is suppose water. Okay. So basically we are just uh, make that uh, oil and water, two class we try to make. So but this type of uh, thing is the water, wow, black color is the water. So for that we can do here and put here water and put here that feature collection. I put the property in the, put the property in the class and put it to one. So 
now I take some training sample for that water. So I should take some training sample. So water body, it's not the water. Spelling and also water. Let's check what we can get. If you bring suppose sample and then call the oil, it will be marked with your water sample. So now take a variable. I mean, I put the variable in the training and then call our image. So basically, this is our image. So image it will be with geometry. I see. Copy these things. And this image, so mainly in this time, we are using a band. What is the band name? This band name is the um DV. Okay, you can put it at the DV. Uh, mm -hmm. I just put it at the uh, dot dot select. Put it at the DV. Okay. So in this time. We can just call the image and set out a specific band and put here that one uh, function is called the radio, uh, it's called the sample regions. Okay, this is the sample, sample region. Sample region. So now from here we are just extracting all of those pixels for oil and water. So just say it is here in here, color bracket is start. Also color bracket in, in here. And then for the collection, so basically this collection will lead to our training sample. So just say simply call the sample and paste here. And then properties, property basically is your property name. We see put the property name in the class, I put the property name in the class. And the scale, I put the scale let's say so I put at this I put at the print and call the print. So now we discard all of those V V pixel for the oil and water. Then we can get the data set. So this is our data set. So this data set we create. Okay, for the oil and water. So it show that okay, we did not match any band available bands. Okay. So available band mainly is one and view. Copy. Uh, we need to copy a whole name. And then data to train our model 
between our model and suppose twenty percent data to test our model. Test our so part that I just take a variable. Suppose I call the print set. Print set. I put here that um, print set and call the data set. This data I simply filter. Act engine dot filter dot um. Greater than random zero point eight, and take another variable. It's called the test set. I call this data set. Filter it. Add engine dot filter. Put at the less than equal random rest of the zero point eight. Any variable. So now I just make a model. So I put the model. I want to make the class pair. Suppose I want to make the class pair for random forest. Okay, so first I simply search here random forest. Click on the box tab yeah. and search here random forest. So here I can get the random forest algorithm. Click open this function. And then this here, random forest. I put that number to 100. And further, I can print it. Maybe it will be my 80% data. So just like you get the color target start and also color the bracket in here. And function is feature. So basically, feature is mainly your print set, which is 80% data. My print set is simply called this here. Class property, so basically class property is the fixed, mainly it's the, uh, it's the class, I already put the class, input properties, in this time we have put input properties mainly, we put this the band about, time, we consider input properties, this is this band, this is the copy, And it's not name of that. Okay, so this is our model. So now let me check about my model what I can got from here. So print this model and look at the plain function. Click the run. So now it shows you that all of those details about your uh, model. First we are use this model and then we try to make this. So in this time you can see this model, we can get the two classes. 0 and 1 mainly while and water and then this time we put at about 300 importance mainly this time we are just use the only for the one band give me this is the 48 and we can get all of this information about that okay. so now we can make the classification using this different trees and further classify so for that i just try to add it suppose i want to show the image first suppose i take a variable i put the variable suppose uh, classification and I call the emails. So basically, this time, uh, so emails mainly we are just using this emails. Yeah. Yes, I see. At the I just test here. And then this emails, I need to select this specific band. These I use in here. So this copy this band. Paste here. And then just use a function classify with my model so just put here the model so now we try to work for this image so just remember that layer and call this classification paste here and i want to show the result so mean support 0 and max support 1 and further put here the plated i want to show the plated suppose i want to show the uh, what oil as a uh, suppose yellow color and i want to show about the water as a blue color so try to check about this what we can get <coughs> so 
now it creates the oil and also create the water and we differentiate water and oil okay okay this we can get this type of pad here we find out the oil it show this type of you know, yellow color this oil and it show about that water mainly water not mixing with the oil so now what that i want to check what the accuracy about that okay for checking uh -huh. the accuracy we are just making confusion matrix table suppose i am just try to add the confusion matrix table so let's take a very well i put the variable in suppose uh confusion matrix and then uh use a function e e dot confusion matrix and in this time I will have the rest of 20% data I want to use it okay I can check about my performance of my model so just use that the classify with my model okay then for the here that error matrix and to have the actual user predicted value so in so for for actual use so basically it's our property name we say already know about the class and predicted yeah. mainly put here that classification the classification or not it i don't know so now for that we have just print this confusion matrix table so print confusion matrix table so now we can make a confusion matrix table for the map and from here I can easily calculate it so here we also can take that this type of map it show that uh, there is only two class so in this time we can get that fully accuracy there is no mixing with each other okay so we can get the 24 percent corrected and 25 pixel corrected Okay, so in this time nothing is mixing with each other. So in this time we have to check about the accuracy. Suppose I simply print it. The function matrix and put here the suppose cup by accuracy. If you run, in this time it calculated the cup by accuracy. How does mean cup by? You can get the hundred percent accuracy. You want to check about the uh, overall accuracy. Suppose print it. Uh, accuracy. So basically, we want to also get the hundred percent accuracy about that. So basically, in this time, it correctly classified. Okay, and no pixel, suppose water pixel and oil pixel is not mixing to each other. It's not mixed. Okay, so that's why we also get the very uh, better accuracy map about that, and we are successfully classified this type of oil and also classified for the uh, water. So in this time, we are just applying the cup accuracy and also use the uh, mainly put at that um, overall accuracy. So that's why in this time, you can also check about the result with your compare with your threshold limit. You can see you can get almost same result. Put the and simply find these things. You can see it correctly classified all of the this I can get from that. While it's uh, threshold integrity, okay. So in this time, uh -huh. we can uh, make just a random forest machine learning model and check it. In this time, suppose I want to apply another machine learning model, suppose support vector machine. So basically, support vector machine is work well for the binary classifier. So I try to add a support vector machine. So just like copy these things from here uh -huh. and then paste into the model. And so now you can see what that means you can get when I apply the support vector machine algorithm or oil scale. In this moment, we get the same accuracy. It's no problem. So now it's correctly classified. Also, for that support vector machine is also okay. So basically, it's not mixing each other because it's only for two class, water and oil. Okay. 
so it is only for the two class water and oil so that's why it clearly classified this is the water and this is the oil and if not mixing with this other so now if you want you can also use it suppose uh, this layer you can also use it as the oil and water and if you uh, get only for the oil mapping suppose you want to start only for the oil so for that very easy suppose i just mark with the oil so just take a variable suppose oil oil area and call this uh, suppose you can simply call the classification and this here and say equal to zero so this is the class of oil so just i take a variable map uh, dot add layer and call the oil area and if you want to use that that self max function it's also self max in this other and i will show the oil area only for suppose i add the plate i will add the plate for suppose uh, you okay, so now that it is the layer but this time it just show the map of oil okay so now we need it only for the oil So here you can see now I just simply open this only one layer. On the first layer I open. Okay. So here you can see now it show only for the oil. Okay, show the only for the oil. Uh, okay. In this time, suppose you want to calculate how much area is for the oil in this time for this area. But we just need to calculate the oil area. So just put a variable. I put the variable that was um, area. E dot ems dot pixel area it only is multiply with this while area simply copy and paste here and then just take a variable or if you want to write writing it suppose reduce region and put all of the part open one by one so just I make a dictionary curly bracket star and also curly bracket in here so for that just put at the reducer basically it's a and I the total area of oil so use that e dot reducer reducer uh, dot sum geometry will need to boundary shape file which is uh geometry okay with the same name geometry then I still made resolution of single on one server I put the 10 and it will be 30. 10, 10 meters yes and then further we try to read that now we calculate the area how much oil area we can find out from this map it shows the result is square meters you can see we can get this type of result so that we are too many pixels so for that we have to use the uh, max pixel value the word is that word so i simply that max pixel value one e one of so now I run the quad. Oh, it's still for the area. So it's too high, yes. Number of pixels. But what if we have maybe three classes like uh, for example oil spill local like oil spill and land and water yeah Four for class. the case is easy you can simply take the uh, other trade example okay we say take from here only for, i can get a two two class so for that take the two trade example okay you also take the other trade example and for that you are just merge with that you can see i also margin here uh, merge with that so you take the another simply use at the march and march the class name anything and part that just you can easily do it for the other class also just take the same example and all of it is the same and you can also use this type of map from here as a key format and you can also work with the art map software it uses software for visualization about that with computing and some kind networking issue it So 
Okay, so this is the process about that. Okay, how can we apply the machine learning model in here? So I want to try to show you this code. Okay, it's really easy. And deep learning is also when you want to do that. Also, you need suppose you need the uh, testing sample or training sample. This type of training sample you also need when you want to work for the deep learning. Okay, you want to use the deep learning model. Uh, you also need to add the different types of training sample. And further, we are just use either CNN or convolutional neural network, and then further we can also detect the same process. But in this time, uh, we are using either deep learning or machine learning to get the better accuracy. The threshold length is also okay, but in this time, yeah, we are just using the threshold length value. We did not put any kind of um, uh, accuracy. But when I want to use the machine learning model, it can be support vector machine, or it can be random forest, or it can be CNN or RNN, then we also get the better accuracy and we can easily replace it. Yeah. Okay. So I will send you this code, you want to try to catch it for the area of that. This area square is uh, square kilometer. Suppose I want to convert it to square kilometer. So for converting this thing, I just simply add here uh, suppose square kilometer so put at the divide okay so i take a new video like that suppose I just take a variable of suppose a yeah. use the same variable and um, and then further i put here that e dot number dot area and it get from the area and this area I want to convert into a square kilometer, so use at the one e six. So now we need that. In this case, we need the square kilometer in me. Why one e six? Now uh, it's the one to ten meter six. Okay. So basically, uh, square meter to square kilometer, when you uh, do that, just simply divide into one into ten to the six. And it will be converted to a square meter to a square kilometer area. Ah, we, can get that, we can get the result. You can uh, 1501 square kilometer area. You find out the point of scaling. Okay. So basically, I can extract all uh, well spill masks and calculate yes. uh, approximate square kilometers for each. Yeah. Yes. You can see if your max area about coil is filling for this region, you can easily get it. Yeah. Or if you want, you can also export this map easily. Okay? And part of that, you can also export the satellite imagery. Okay? And then part of that, you can easily represent it using the uh, latitude or longitude about that. And you can easily get this uh, proper map in your art map software after downloading the images. Is it difficult to create such image with coordinates and latitude and longitude? No, no, it's very easy. It's very easy. So you can try it. Uh, basically, you need to download this imagery, TIP format, about this type of layer. You need to export from here as a TIP format. So then you can find the, uh, um, import these things and uh, you can easily work with that. So you can try to export this type of things. And if possible, you can also join the next day. And then you can also see this. In this time, I will send you the code to try to export. Suppose you try to export the this layer, all of this layer, you try to export as a TIP format. Okay. Then further, we are using in ArcMap software to get, generate the map for that proper map. So actually, I can use yeah. same code for another case. Yes. yes. Another yes. point. Yeah, yeah. Same, same. Just simply draw your study area and then you can easily detect the up. Okay, but for that, for another region, you have to take the training sample again. Again, see this training sample is only for this study area. Okay, but when you work for the other region, you must take the training sample for the other region for the oil and water. Otherwise, it will not work because this training sample is only for this study area. Mm -hmm. So, I will one side you to do that, apply the machine learning model and try to detect the oil spilling for the different kind of different region. So actually, if I uh, transfer this code to another location, I need to manually firstly uh, create collection of points, yes, yeah. of each class. Yeah. It's initial steps, yes? Yes. Yeah. And after that, I can apply 
these models uh, like SVM, K-means, random forms. Okay, thank you for your time. Okay, thank you. Okay, have a good day. Can I write to you tomorrow or? Okay, tomorrow is easy, but you can write them. Um, uh, Yes, Sunday, Sunday is available. Sunday, Sunday. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Have a good. Thank you for the time. Bye. Bye.